Hey guys, welcome to a new segment we're going to do called Drinky Drink Time with Kim and Josh. Possibly working title. Possibly working title. Um, Give us suggestions if you don't like it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I had said that I was looking for something new to replace the snack box or the snack crate for a while. We're still doing the Universal Yums box. Um, but so this one seems to be really highly rated. It's called um, Shaker and Spoon. And basically how it works is each month they send you um, a ton of different like syrups and ingredients um, to make drinks. And all you really need to supply is tools to make the drinks and the liquor of the month. So this liquor, so this one is uh, Tennessee whiskey, specifically Tennessee whiskey is um, this month's theme. So basically what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to take turns being behind the counter. Um, there's three cards, so this time I'm going to do two, Kim's going to do one, and the next time she'll do two and I'll do one. She'll film what I'm making, and of course vice versa, and then we will both come back on camera when it is time to try the cocktail. Um, and they give like fun little descriptions and stuff like that as well. So we will read that to you and then we shall make the drinks and then taste the drinks and you can decide if this is something you would like to do for yourself. And if it is, there will be a link in the description where you can click um, and uh, subscribe yourself if it is something you're interested in. So the first one we're going to be making is called the Summer Fling. And it's kind of cool, too. They show you actually on the card the type of glass they recommend you put it in. Obviously, if you don't have that glass, you don't have to use it. And they also give a fun little um, description. So I'll read that. For an earthy, sweet taste that makes you go, hmm, <laughs> you just can't beat beets. Okay, so it must, okay, so it's going to be beet flavored. In this radical, <laughs> oh in this radically refresher, refreshing cooler from Samir Osman, the veggie lands its well-rounded flavor and most vivid of red shades to a shrub that celebrates the beet's proclivity for picking, oh, for pickling with a dose of aromatic rosemary and tow. What could be sharp and powerful is instead made mellow when mixed with sparkling water and this whiskey, which pitches in its light notes of vanilla and caramel for an easygoing and quite crush crushworthy time in the sun. So this one is going to use... Oh, and also another thing is they, they give you recommended whiskey, cho um, whiskey choices or any liquor for the month. They give you three, three different bartenders. This one is George Dickel's Tennessee Sour Smash Superior 12 Recipe, which is one of the recommended ones. <laughs> <laughs> right? Kim keeps... <laughs> All right, okay, so, cool. so this is a shake and drink. So it says to add the whiskey, shrub, and bitters to a shaker with two ice cubes. So we have our bowl of ice cubes here. So one, two, mm -hmm. and we need two ounces of the Tennessee whiskey. Okay, one ounce of this um, rosemary beet shrub cool thing I guess about this is too like if you get the cocktails and like it they make these syrups you can actually order these syrups on their shop which is cool so if you're like I want to make more of that drink then you just order more and make it I Perfect. have a feeling Ooh. feeling this might not be my cup of tea and then one dash kind of looks like when I made blood for movies <laughs> and so then we just want one dash of the bitters Go one dash of that. And now it says to use a whip shake, which is described as vigorously shaking it until you can no longer hear the ice cubes, which combines and aerates the ingredients without too much dilution. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to call that good, probably. Yeah, it's like a little tiny sliver in there. And now I'm supposed to pour this over ice into a Collins glass and then combine it with sparkling water. Um, it says three ounces, but we're just going to... Probably, what, three ice cubes? Two ice cubes? Three. Three looks to be an appropriate amount. Well, together, so I would say about to the top would probably be three ounces, right? Yeah. Right, and that's it for that drink. Now we just gotta taste it. A 
Okay, so now that the drink is complete, I'm gonna give it one more little stir here just because it took a second, of course, to reposition the camera in that there. <laughs> it's never a good sign. It is, it is very pretty, I will say. Yeah. I think aesthetically, it's very... Oh. Whoa. Oh. That's a taste. That's weird. That's real weird. Um, it does have a very earthy, yeah, salty, beady taste. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like this one very much. No, that's. I had a feeling I wouldn't like this one. Um, I'm glad I made this one first because the other two actually sound very good to me. Um, so I'm hoping that those ones will be better. Um, that's kind of the thing, I guess, with this box when I've seen is like, you know, they definitely try things. So you're probably not going to like everything in the box, but right. that's kind of the point. The other cool thing is you can skip any month you want. So if you see a box, you're like, I don't even like that liquor. Just skip, tell them to skip that. Oh, well, that's nice. All right, but we're going to rinse this and then Kim's going to make her drink. All right. So I am doing Pancho and Lefty Remix. Uh, the description is, like its namesake, the elegaic tune by Towns Van Zandt, this cocktail is staggeringly deep number to wax wistful to while sitting around the campfire. Man, that's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way they word the things on these cards is um, fun. In, in a play on just how much wood features in the makeup of Tennessee whiskey, maple charcoal filtered, and charred oak aging, this old-fashioned finds Samir Osman doing the spirit one better by adding a maple syrup that itself features the flavors of smoked pecan wood. Mm -hmm. Despite all these like-minded elements, though, it's all summer beauty and none of the burn when the delightful taste of peach puts a classic southern spin on your night under the stars. So peachy mapley sounds good. I'm excited for this one. So yeah, it's two ounces. One, two. It is run amok maple. That's mm -hmm. fun. I guess this brand is really good. I was reading other people talk about stuff, and this, I guess their syrups are just amazing, so. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's sticky. Why am I sticky? Maple syrup. Yep. All right. It says half, half an ounce of smoked maple syrup. Okay. Oh, yep. That's maple syrup on it. It's going to be fun to clean. Ooh. Smell good? It smells like bacon. It's probably a smokiness. It's like a smoked wood syrup. Yeah, good. Yum. Uh, the bitters, which it says three dashes of the peach oh, three. bitter. Oh, wow. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Seems like a lot of that stuff in there. But... And a dash of the citric acid solution. Okay. There we go. It says, use the bar spoon to stir until mixing glass feels ice cold. <laughs> About 20 to 40 seconds, depending on ice size. Our ice is normal freezer ice. Yeah, freezer ice. All right. We plan on getting a, one of those fancy big block ice trays for the next episode. But... I have skulls, but I forgot to make them. It says to strain it. Yeah. Here we go. And then I think we are supposed to mist it with the sage. Spray the white sage hydrosol over the top of the drink. Without spraying us. Let me get away. There we go. There we go. Yay. Okay, now we made it. Now it's time to taste the thing. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to try the drink that Kim made, the Poncho and Lefty. Go ahead and I'll let you, since you're the one that made it, you can try first. Mm. Yeah, these little aromatic things, I haven't sipped it yet, but I know that they, um, they add a little something. 
Ooh, wow, that does. I like the way it smells a lot. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Whoa, that's a drink. That is a drink. <clears throat> wow. Very smoky. Yeah. Surprising. Well, no, not surprised because there's maple syrup. So it is yeah. It is very sweet. But the smokiness. And that sage, it adds a little something to it. Yeah, it, it's weird. Mm. It's like almost like... I don't know. I'm Ooh. at a steakhouse. I really like that drink. Like, the more I sip on it, I'm like, yeah, this is something I'm into. I love those, the, like, smoky drinks. And it has the sweetness. Very well balanced, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It just adds to Because whiskey already has, like, a sweetness, carameliness to it. So putting that in there just fits it really well. Yeah. And, like, the peach is, like, there, but Oh, yeah, I not. forgot there's peach. Yeah. Yeah, it's there, but it's just kind of, like... As you say that, yeah, especially, like... Then. Yeah. It's almost like a slight hint of almost like a peach tea kind of reminiscence yeah. is what I'm getting. Probably yeah. From that, vis the, from that viscosity from like the syrup and that kind of makes me think of a really sweet southern peach tea. Definitely tastes like something from the south all the way. It is like the most <laughs> Tennessee southern drink. Y'all like, like this drink? Mm, yeah. Um, this one's a huge winner in my book. A lot better than the beet thing. Mm. I feel like... Oh well, yeah. I could, I could drink one of these. The beet? No. <laughs> It tastes like the ocean. Okay. <laughs> um, next drink. So my final drink that I will be making is the Hiawassee <laughs> River Water. I think that's how you say it. Excuse me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, and this is the description. When it comes to making whiskey, it's hard to overstate the importance of water sources in Tennessee. Thousands of creeks and springs that have hydrated the process from the start arrive naturally filtered by limestone, pitching in purity and unique minerality. The aquatic artery... Oh my, that's a word. Um, the Nika Legimal. I just said it French. That's no, that's not how you say it. That's how I said it though. Nods to, <laughs> nods to with this cocktail, though hasn't factored into the prevailing lore of the spirit. But with a rush of refreshment like this bearing its name, that could shame. Have a taste of this cooling mix of whiskey, honeydew, and a bit of lemongrass, and let the chill vibes of a lazy river day wind their ways right to you. All right, so this one's another shaky shake drink. Well, actually, the last one wasn't a shaky drink, but my before that was. Yeah. All right, so we do one and a half ounce of whiskey. That first drink, yeah, was two uh, two ounces of whiskey. This one's the last. Three-fourths an ounce of honey syrup, so I get to eyeball that. <laughs> Seems like I'm going to like that, so I want a little more. <laughs> So maybe I won't like that. That's not insane. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is this? This is honeydew. Honeydew, honeydew like yeah, the melon. That, yeah. I don't know what that smells like. It smells mm. crazy though. And then you have four full dashes of this shit. So. God. that and now I'm just gonna fill it up with ice cube and shake it for 15 30 seconds or until the glass is icy is basically what it says like whiskey makes me think of bad things <laughs> right, I was like 30 seconds there mm -hmm. Collins glass with icy with ice it says This one says to double strain. Ooh. Oopsies. It's all over. And then, so we are supposed to take our tonic water. Let me put the spoon down in the middle. And we thread the liquid down the spoon. Mm. Supposedly does is it goes down. This is the reason that bar spoons have the corkscrew. Is it um goes to the bottom of the glass, and everything just kind of so it fills it from the bottom and the top. Essentially, is how that's supposed to work. You can actually see if you look how it actually is pretty even. Yeah, it looks so of that good. Yeah. Because I don't think I'm supposed to stir this one. Nope. Okay, so that one's made. I'm going to clean up the little mess I made, and then we're going to try it. Yay! All right, time to taste the last one. This is the high sea whatever river water thing. <laughs> Ooh. 
I like the way it smells. It smells, it smells interesting. I hope this is good. What a weird drink. Hmm. Hmm. Take a couple sips of it before you make a judgment on it. Because it's, it's, it's odd. It's odd. Definitely taste that lemongrass. It's kind of weird. It gets rid of the whiskey. It the does. The syrups, it's not whiskey anymore. It's like this weird lemony, melony thing. It... Okay. It's refreshing. It's like, yeah. it is refreshing. Kind of reminds me of like those like, like seltzer waters. With like flavor and stuff like that. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, but the tonic, yeah, is what's yeah. giving it. Cause it's, it's a lighter drink. It's definitely mm -hmm. the lightest oh, out yeah, of all yeah, of yeah. us. Like this one would be pretty easy to just kind of down, but at the same time, it's it's complex enough where, yeah, there's, like I said, there's some earthiness there, some mm -hmm. fruitiness. I think it's pretty good. I yeah. like this one. Yeah, I think I like it's it. good. Um, so we'll bring over our trifecta here. I think that me and Kim probably both agree that that's our favorite. Yeah. That the whiskey one is. This one is just... I'm not a fan. It's a salty <laughs> surprise, and I'm not. I'm, I'm not a fan of the surprise a that it's salty giving me. Salty surprise. Yeah. Um, this one I think is actually really good. Good close second for it off the yeah. season three, but I do like it. These two cannot be more different. Yes. And for I, sure. And I think that's something that's interesting. You know, the base is obviously the whiskey for all of them, and that is so, what's so interesting about bartending and cocktails is mm -hmm. that um, these three drinks are all so different. None of them taste oh, alike. Yeah. None of them taste alike, and I think that's what's cool as well from other people I've seen that's done this box is it seems like it's very, um, very, I'm trying to think of it, a good variety, a good variety yeah. that you get in the yeah. box. And next month is rum, which, um, whiskey's okay to me, but I do like rum a lot, so I'm excited to try that one. Um, so make sure if you enjoyed this video, let us know. Is there another subscription box you would like to see us open and review and try? Um, and make sure to subscribe and like the video and keep the notification bell rang so if this is something you enjoy, you can see when we upload the next one. Until that, we will see you guys in the next video.